DJ. DJ. So are we going to talk about Wendy Williams' bizarre behavior on her talk show? Um, her potential downfall? All this stuff has been going on. You know, her staff has come to the press basically saying um since they're in the audience because remember because of corona can't no real audience members come to the wendy williams show so her staff is the audience member and they're basically saying that it is a walking train wreck every day at the wood wendy williams show behind the scenes and also on camera and there's been a few clips that's been circling around the web showing wendy williams really spaced out not being able to focus um she's not even keeping her balance and she's not even wearing heels anymore anymore she stopped wearing heels a long time ago when she said that she had like Crohn's disease and all this other health issues going on. And it was just a tape that was running that was showing her basically not being able to keep her balance. Like she was just hopping like like she had heels on and couldn't keep her balance. She had freaking orthopedic shoes on, okay? And then when she was talking, she was spacing out, um, not being able to complete her sentences. Um, and it looked at one point, at one clip, it looked like she was like freaking falling asleep in the middle of of talking like it was just the most oddest thing in the world and her producer was trying to keep it together um and then on top of that we also um you know dj booth she ended up firing him at the beginning of the 12th season i think what how many seasons been i think it's like the 12th season um the beginning of this season she fired dj booth you know who she bragged about basically the entire time that she was on air with him she just said she loved dj booth this this and this saying he's a great person all this other stuff and then they had a falling out now, things are just, let me just read some of this um, stuff off of here. Um, this is from lovebscott.com. Um, they said they believe that Wendy Williams is self-medicating again with prescription drugs and some kind of opiates. Um, the production staff is at a loss for what to do, a source says. Because of COVID, the staff sits in the audience every show. And, it's con and they're constantly worried uh, that Wendy is going to pass out on air like she did before. Remember back a couple of years ago, I think it was like 2017, she passed out uh, during a Halloween show and she was like dressed up as um, Lady Liberty or whatever, um, the Statue of Liberty. And she just claps and then she said that it was because of heat. Okay, but clearly, you know, eventually she ended up going to rehab and basically said she was in rehab. So I am assuming that she's going back and relapsed and you know, because she made, she definitely um, stated that she had a drug problem back in the day. She talked about it on her show, talking about she had a cocaine addiction and stuff like that. And recently, of course, she just got a divorce from her husband. So, you know, Wendy Williams is really by herself. And on top of that, she can't interact with her fans because of this whole entire quarantine thing with COVID. So it's just been rough for Wendy Williams. And it seems like, she, you know, she seems to be a lonely woman. And she seems to be going through a lot. But anyway, let me finish reading what's being said, okay? Um... It said that um, they're, they're worried she'll pass out on air like before. Some days it's so bad the producers will pull the plug um, and air a repeat, okay? Um, but it's a big it's a big production, and they keep they cannot keep uh, wasting money like that, okay? Um, another staffer um, said that it's an awful situation, allegedly. It's an awful situation. Everyone involved around her is both concerned and over it everyone feels bad for all the personal drama um she's gone through the last few years um at the hands of her ex-husband uh, but what can they do another source uh, alleges and says um and despite wendy's health battles and multiple um um hiatuses um Delmar and, and mercury which is her production company who like films and produces the Wendy Williams show. They decided to renew the Wendy Williams show after Jerry O'Connell show uh, fell through and got awful ratings. So they tried to keep the sh keep her show r running because Jerry O'Connell is supposed to be her successor and she's supposed to end her show last year. But they extended her contract an additional two years because J Jerry O'Connell's ratings, when he did come out, oh, those ratings was terrible. Like I went on their like page and he had like one video that had 100 views. Like. That's terrible for a big, large production. Like, we're talking about Wendy Williams. She get, like, 20 million views, like, easily a week on her show. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, that was awful rating. So, they decided not to invest further into that. So, that pushed Wendy to have to keep working. Um, listen. Okay, and then they also said, um, they also said that, um, it's really the top brass at, 
uh, the studio, Dead Mercury, who need to step in and put their foot down and make her go to rehab and get the help that she clearly needs. It was hoped that she would pull it together, pull it together over the long summer hiatus. Okay, uh, which they started earlier because Wendy was having issues then. Okay. Um, and this is known as she has Graves disease, but according to her staff, allegedly it's not the Graves disease that's causing Wendy Williams to have these antics and have these, um, these mental breakdowns and just strange behavior, um, while she's on air. And I mean, I watched the clips and, um, I'm not going to play it on here cause you know, I don't want to get flagged or anything, but it was just very concerning. You know, um, I've always been a listener of Wendy Williams for as young as I can remember. Um, I've been listening to her since the Wendy Williams experience because, you know, I live in upstate, you know. Um, growing up so I didn't actually get to listen to New York radio directly and when the Wendy Williams experience came on VH1 it was my first time actually hearing her like listening to her show and she had Salomane on there and everything else and I just fell in love with the work that Wendy Williams did and I was a child back in the day um, and just to see that she actually had got her own show um, I remember watching her first show when I was a kid as well and I just was like man I want to do radio like the way that she does it but you know not as ratchet but I want to do it the way that she does it because Wendy Williams just never you know gave a you know she's a she's uh she definitely is not afraid to say what's on her mind you know what I'm saying I, and I'm saying I you know that's just her attitude in general though you know what I'm saying and um I really just like her approach in the way when she delivered celebrity news she just really had no coof she didn't care who it was. She didn't care what level of a celebrity a person was. If she felt like something was wrong, she spoke the truth. You know what I'm saying? And then now she, you know, her, her show's been successful for more than a decade. And it's just very sad to see her have this downfall, you know. And I'm really just concerned about her life and her health in general. All right. Um, I know a lot of times, people, you know, people enjoy seeing other people fall miserably, you know, after they had a career like Wendy Williams where she lived her entire career going in on celebrities and talking about their lives and you know um just you know doing the stuff that bloggers do you know what i'm saying um doing the stuff that radio hosts do but to the 10th power <laughs> when it comes to the meanness and the directness you know what i mean um but i'm just very concerned about Wendy Williams' health and you know i'm hoping that she does get the help that she needs and then another thing that came out was dj booth he made a very cryptic text okay um about Wendy Williams. Okay, so on Twitter, right? Uh, Twitter came out and was talking about it, like about how weird Wendy was acting on her show. Um, and one of them said, you know, under the post, under the Twitter post, and said, Wendy, you need to stop your show and seriously get help. Your camp is just watching you spiral instead of sending help. Shame on them. I'll be boycotting your show until you get checked into rehab. Drugs will kill you. Please get help. This someone else said, um she don't listen to them probably why dj booth left um the show and then dj booth replied to her and said yep exactly and it will all come out y'all have no idea what's going on um and everyone there is afraid to speak up because they don't want to lose their jobs then he moved forward to say um this is going to play out bad i feel sorry for the workers and victims have a blessed day so this basically put the entire social media in the storm because they're trying to understand what exactly did DJ Booth mean by victims? Like victims of what? Like what 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 what's going on when he when he says the word victim? Um what does he mean by victims? Cuz I can see him saying the workers on the show um but I, he ended up coming back and made another statement let me just look it up um he made another statement trying to explain what he meant by victims let me just check here let me see let me see i don't know i think he had came back and he said something about it basically trying to explain it but it wasn't like victim in a way that people were trying to say like oh it wasn't like she had like a bunch of like victims or it was like some sex trafficking or stuff like that but he was more so talking about like the staff being victims of having to watch her um on spiral so you know just in general it, you know the whole situation is sad i hope that Wendy Williams get some help from what i'm seeing um from what i'm seeing um it just seems as if Wendy Williams is definitely um is having a downward spiral and 
Um, it's sad, man. I hope that someone helps. I feel like DJ Booth is a real friend because he he should he he needed to walk out. You know what I mean? It shouldn't get to the point where you are still taking money from somebody who you know is really ill. They could possibly, basically, I'm not even gonna speak on that. If you know what I'm saying, it could get to that point, and you still taking the money, knowing that they're mentally, spiritually, um, and physically just is not well. You know what I mean? And maybe that's what he meant by the victims, like the people that surround her are victims, the staff is victims, um, because they have to deal with that every day, and they feel stuck because of COVID. And there's nothing else that they can do in regards to their careers. Um, it's just very sad, and. Wendy Williams decided to come on air to address the concerns. She basically was trying to say, um, she she said that she wasn't perfect, you know, so she's trying to do better, you know, you know, everyone has off days. She was basically trying to justify the weird behavior that she's been having on the past several shows she's been on. Um, but it's like, Wendy, if you're going to be someone who's like spilling everybody's tea and everybody's business, you know, putting it out there on who's, you know, not perfect, who's doing messy stuff in their life, this, this, and this. You should be able to try to take some accountability for your actual life and the things that you have going on that might be messy, whether it's drug use, whether, I don't know, whether you're being abused, whether it's drug use, you know, whether it's health related, like just try to be honest with your staff. If you're not well, you're not well. You uh, acquire a very large fortune and I know TV money is some good money. So I'm pretty sure that you acquired a very very large fortune at this point and for you to be in what's she like 57 she's pretty old um and she's older now and i feel like she should be able to retire and not kill herself you know you have a son to live for if you are watching this i mean i'm just hoping that you're able to recover from this wendy williams um because you know you do have your son to live for i'm pretty sure you know that and i'm pretty sure that he will be devastated for anything um, to happen to you. You are his, his mom and you're probably his best friend. Like seriously. So I'm really just hoping that Wendy Williams get the help that she needs because to me it's really really just sad and it's so sad when you see somebody you know make it to where they want to be. You know she worked real hard through radio, made it to TV, ended up getting her own talk show and now after a decade and some change things are just plummeting fast and you know, a lot of people is excited about it. I'm not excited about seeing this woman have a downfall. You know, um, Charlamagne said that he thought that she was on drugs a few years ago when that whole thing happened with her faint and everything else, allegedly. You know, so I just hope Wendy Williams is okay. And I hope that she take care of herself. And I hope that she could be, keep it as real about her life as she do with other people's lives. Like, if you can sit here all day and talk about other people's lives all, all day, every day, and things start to look funky in your life, don't be afraid to tell your co-hosts that you like to call us the studio audience the truth you know what i'm saying they do say the truth set you free so maybe you should tell the truth wendy and try to get yourself cleaned up because this is just not a good look it's real sad and i hope you do better DJ, DJ, Eric Jones.